I thank you guys and I uh, thank you, this man of God here. This is the man that changed me from Facebook. Like on March 18th, 2022, I was robbed and I shot. I was shot uh, with three bullets and I died. Uh, I stayed in the hospital for like uh, three weeks and two days and I woke up and then when I look around they told me that I was shot. So after then I was going through a trauma, trauma they said I have a blood clot and uh, I had a sister in UK that joined me with this uh, prophetic prayer <laughs> on Facebook. So when I joined this prayer, this man of God when I first heard him, I was just, yes, this is the man I'm looking for. And uh, I started paying attention on that prayer, 545 prayer in the a.m. in the morning. And whatever he says is whatever happens to me. And I started receiving healing. From there, I started getting my healing. There's the one he said about green card. If you have said 10 years, you have not received your green card. It's just like he was talking about me. And I was praying, like, God, I'm going through a lot. And before I know it, they say that uh, immigration has uh, brought out my file after they have kept it for 10 years. <laughs> that I'm coming for a screening, medical screening for my green card. I was like, are you serious? This man is too much. So when I heard that he's coming to Florida, I said, I must come to Florida to come and see this man. And I'll have a picture with him. <laughs> And I thank God for this, this platform for him to deliver me. And uh, I'm telling you guys also that God is really existing. You know. Thank you guys. <laughs> Trust me, it, it collapsed the whole of that. Open your leg, let him see. Just let, let him show his leg. I mean, he was shot three times. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Oh man, you need to share. When, when Papa keeps saying, share this with your friends, your family. You don't know who can receive healing. Papa, he said he gave his life to Christ and his life has not remained the same. He couldn't pray before. There was part of his testimony. He didn't say that when he was in coma, he was on a place that was lonely. On a lonely, peaceful place. And that is a great testimony. Thank you very much, my brother. I lost my husband to cancer four years ago with two kids. And last year, somebody sent me um, PPH. Somebody sent me um, a PPH uh, prayer through the uh, YouTube. When I saw it, I was like, oh God, I really needed this to, for me to be able to go on with life. I started joining. The day I can't join, I always come on um, anytime I pray with it. My kids are right there with me. They came with me today. And after my husband passed away, I told God, I said, I need a home for my kids so we can be able to be together. Last year, during the prayer, prophetic prayer, as soon as I joined, God make a way for us. Something that's supposed to take people three years, four years. My was, I started March and I moved in in my house in December. Ooh, yeah. And... And, and also when my husband was sick because we went through a lot after my husband passed away I started passing blood through my um, when I used the bathroom I thought it was cancer too but I went to the doctor they did their colonoscopic and everything but it still comes they gave me a lot of medicine but as soon as I joined the PPH uh, prayer I don't know when it stopped it just stopped and Hallelujah. and also God healed me from so many cramps God, through the prayer, prophetic prayer, God has really done so much for me. I can't even really say it all. And my prayer life has changed so much. Thank you, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With our God. My name is Miriam. I came from North Carolina. Uh, last year, no, this year, June 10, I was in Nigeria. Since I joined this platform, my life has never been the same. My prayer life has changed. And I went for the last conference back in Nigeria, Thent. I met with Pastor and his wife, and I saw him one-on-one, -on -one and he prayed for me. I told him I was in marriage. 
and nobody's coming my way and things like that. He prayed and told me that I should go. I'm going to find favor and God is going to be with me. My life has changed. I have someone in my life. I return to give the glory and honor to God. With our God, all things are possible. I just want to thank God for this platform. A friend of mine had sent me a YouTube link to join the prayer. And I had joined the prayer about a year ago. I had a package that had a very sensitive information and very time sensitive information as well. And I, I didn't realize it was a UPS package, but I dropped it off at FedEx. It was processed and then the package disappeared. FedEx opened an investigation to trace the package. They couldn't find it. I brought it to this altar. I said, Lord, I need mercy. This is a very, very time sensitive and, you know, very sensitive information in this package. And I heard a testimony on this platform that gave me hope. I said, Lord, mercy. A lady shared a testimony how a package also disappeared and no trace. FedEx kept looking, they couldn't find it. As we prayed on this platform, I, I keyed into that testimony from the lady that shared about a package that disappeared and then they were able to locate it. I said, if you did it for that one, please do it for me. And I also reminded God of the story in the Old Testament of the lost ax head when it was lost and then you used the man of God and it came floating. And as we continued to show up on the platform, I kept, I kept calling FedEx, I kept checking. Then the Holy Spirit ministered to me, go back on UPS and see if they've located that package. Lo and behold, they were able to locate that package. It got delivered and I'm here to thank God for that.